day number 21. Can you believe it? It's been three whole weeks already since the uh, 100 day reality challenge started. And today I had an appointment with my psychologist and uh, we talked a lot about family things and about um, my attempt at trying to really be in a genuine place concerning the family member that I'm not currently getting along with and a couple of other things but then we ended up talking about me and the things uh, in my life and I have to say that um, one of the things I told my psychologist is that you need to hold my feet to the fire and don't let me walk the long way around and answer a question that you ask me, make me answer it. So, um, she is, um, her style is not that way. She kind of likes to talk and then she asks questions about the things that you say. But, um, I told her that I need her to ask me a lot of questions and to make me answer them. You know, not, she doesn't have to like force my hand or whatever, but she has to keep redirecting me back to the question to make sure that I answer it because I have this thing about me that when something is too close to home and I, I feel like I can't answer it or I can't give the truth behind it, I have to walk around it and, and sugarcoat it or shield it so that way, um, I guess I don't want to be judged or I don't want to hurt the other person, I don't know. So... There was some of that there today, and she asked me a couple of questions, and uh, and then the way it kind of wound out was that I don't feel that I have the unction in me to do the work necessary to get the things that I want because of all the thing, all the work that I had done in my twenties um, after my mom had died. And I honestly feel like I don't have any more to give. And I'm mad because I didn't, in all the giving that I gave, I didn't give anything or leave anything for myself. And part of me is tired of hurting. I'm, I don't want to hurt anymore. I don't want to expose my underbelly anymore and let anybody stab me or jack me up. And I feel like I am shutting down in a lot of respects and she didn't like that and I didn't like that I don't like that but part of me is kind of resigning to it because I don't know what else to do and something that's really touching is that I know who it is that I am in relation to other people but I don't know who it is that I am in relation to myself and I have a really big sense of loss with that I um, have a really hard time really um, loving myself and being proud of myself and being nice and gentle to myself. I'm really harsh with myself. I'm really demanding of myself. I really, I don't think myself worthy for a lot of things. And I know that this comes out in the things that happen in my life and how I just, you know, I just, I invite bad things to happen, un, you know, unconsciously, I guess, or subconsciously. It's been a really big fight because I'm making con conscious effort and decision to allow good things in, however fleeting they are, but to allow them in and to really embrace them and accept them and, and, and love them. And it's something really different, and I want to continue on to that practice. Um, but there is that underlying fear of good things happening to me that keeps sabotaging me. And I think we're going to be addressing that in the next coming up, in the next few sessions that are coming up. So um, I am glad for it. I think it's about time that I stop running from myself, and um, I don't know, hopefully I'll get out of my 
rut and out of my funk so that way I can find a direction for myself because that's the other thing too I don't have a direction or a path for my life that I want I thought that I would want to be married I thought that I would want children I thought that I would want my own family and I feel so far removed from that that it doesn't even feel like I should wish or want for it anymore um, I have a lot of negative voices um, a lot of negative thoughts, a lot of negative um, things about myself and, you know, like who would want me, who would stay, you know, to deal with my conditions, who would want to do, have anything to do with me um, romantically or intimately or anything. So, um, it's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. And I'm trying to really overcome those things and to look at them in the face and deal with them head on instead of cowering in the corner and waiting for someone to come and um, show me otherwise, I guess. I don't know. I did finally <laughs> get the book by Louise Hay, um, You Can Heal Your Life. And, um, oh, sorry, my hand is kind of twitching. And, um, the first part of it, my mind just was like, I don't know how I can handle this right now. So I'm going to start reading it tomorrow and I'm working through it. So that way I can start to heal some of these things inside of me that are sabotaging me so that was day 21 I will probably be able to post every day now because I do have the book and I'll be working on certain things in the book so um, alright co-creators I will see you again tomorrow have a good evening bye